All right, I'm back. Excuse the bonnet. So this is probably like two hours later because I literally just sat and watched um, some of KT, the Arch Degree. I don't know why, but it just, I get tongue tied and I just can't get it out when I try to say KT, the Arch Degree. So I'm going to say KT from here on out as if I know him. <laughs> All right. So um, I watched a couple of KT's videos trying to get to the bottom of my question. How long should one take? the or use the nesut nectar cob drops so essentially i didn't find an answer in any of the content i went to kt's instagram page and i went to the business instagram page and i didn't see anything stated directly as far as like okay you know only use this for one week at a time or two weeks or a month or whatever the case may be um i've watched so much of his content on this but i don't recall seeing it anywhere else or hearing it before anywhere else but maybe i need to go back and watch some of those videos or maybe just cut to the chase during his business hours um and i know it's a holiday i don't know you know if they're celebrating christmas or whatever the case may be but i will wait until business sort of resumes but in the meantime i know i did get his information for like the full protocol of using this for a cleanse um if I didn't say so before, I think I did, but y'all, excuse my bonnet, it's about to be bedtime. You know what it is. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to bed early, like I'm so excited to use this. So I'm not doing the full protocol. Um, basically in the video that I just watched, or maybe the second to last video that I just watched, he explains that for the full protocol, you need like 12 bottles of this. Um, and like, I think several jars of honey as well. Yeah, the protocol for the thorough flush. So it's like a large volume for the thorough flush, right? I'm going to go ahead and use it just as the eyedropper, one drop per day. There is no limit. Um, he kind of, I've seen referenced in some places where he says like, essentially you could use the bottle until it's used up. I mean, there's, but there's a lot in here. If you think about like a one drop per eye per day, this will last me a very long time. Um, you can also take like a half a mil to a mil twice daily orally and that's recommended in the morning and afternoon so right now i'm just going to sleep i might taste like a drop of the honey because i'm really curious to see how it tastes but you guys let's let's get into this i also watched some videos as well about administering eye drops to yourself because i am doing this solo and um i don't want to waste this stuff because it is relatively expensive and also you know it's um KT really conveys the sense that it's like a precious, precious thing. You know, I don't want to be spilling it all over my face and stuff. So I watched some videos um, on how to administer eye drops to yourself. So a couple of techniques I saw. So the number one thing, like the typical thing, right, is tipping your head back and doing this. They all said not to do that. You could either... Uh, um, like grab your eye make a little pocket and drop it in um some people recommend it tipping your head back putting it in the corner of your eye so i'm going to try the make a pocket <laughs> um technique really fast okay so i think i've got it. oh trigger warning too if you can't stand to see eyes oh oh my god Ooh, 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 oh my God, ooh, oh, oh, mm, mm, mm. it doesn't, it doesn't really hurt, I mean, oh my God, yeah, it feels like it's even, it feels like it's like triggering my sinuses, you know that, um, oh, that feeling like, Peeling onions is exactly like what he describes, but like an intense, like probably the first time you ever peeled an onion. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it feels good in a way too. It feels like, man. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> now I have to do some one more eye. Oh my goodness, I hope I didn't waste it. I think that's just the, the reaction. I also wanted to, um, <laughs> this video is so crazy. <laughs> um, you know, looking at my own eyes, like if I had any, like, you know, those little 
blood vessels or whatever those things are um to get a good good look at my eyes to see how they change um or improve is this <laughs> am i crazy like i almost feel like i feel something in that one eye like i like there's more clarity in my vision it's just the one eye like i can notice a difference between the two am i tripping or is it <laughs> hold on y'all let me do the other eye oh my goodness oh man so again i don't want to waste this you guys you can't really see what i'm doing so i'm like um just letting the honey that naturally drains off and um i kind of showed this in my other video but it has this cool texture to it where it's um kind of thick but not super thick like you would think of like how you know raw honey is or whatever um it's got a little drip to us a little viscous sorry you guys I'm, um here oh um oh my gosh here we go again and Okay, I don't like this method. Oh, oh. Okay, I think I definitely got a lot in that one. Ooh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's giving Ray Charles, it's giving Stevie Wonder. Oh, mm. I promise y'all, it does not hurt. It's just an odd feeling. Like I said, I haven't used any type of eye drop in probably, shoot, since I was at least a kid. Um, so we're going to say maybe like 30, 30 years or more, I'm thinking. Um, so just so putting something in my eye um, is a thing in itself. And then, the, but the sensation is kind of like onions, chocolate onions. And I'm sure as I use this more, um, it will become more normal, <laughs> more bearable. <laughs> This is the most awkward video. I don't think I'm gonna edit too much of this either because I want y'all to see like the real raw. So this is day one and I'm crying. <laughs> oh. All right. Ooh. So my eyes look a little bit red, a little irritated. Look how it's like uh, welling up. Mm -mm. Coming to y'all raw and real, all my imperfections. <laughs> Um, feels, um, it doesn't really feel sticky. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo. <laughs> wow. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, they say you're going to take a meal to have a, I'm not even going to do all that. I'll take, I just want to taste a little bit of It's, def it's definitely honey, clearly, but it has a very like delicate flavor. Like it's sweet and you can tell it's honey, but it tastes like a little exotic. Like, you know, if you ever bought different kind of honey, like let's say you bought like wildflower honey, orange blossom honey, you know how all those different um, honeys have like a flavor. I feel like you could really get the sense that this honey came from the tropics like it just has that taste it has like a it doesn't taste like pineapple or um what's another you know like a fruit that you would find there that's what i'm getting from it it's like um 
it just has like that exotic like it came from some exotic flowers um all right so it's 10 minutes and 30 seconds and i didn't even start at 10 i think it was around like seven minutes but copious amount of tears it wasn't the um eye drops itself i don't feel like coming out it was like literally tears um and even the tears that came out feel different i mean maybe yeah maybe there's like a residue of the honey there is this nasty if i taste it y'all <laughs> like comment subscribe for more of my shenanigans because it don't stop um yeah there's like a tinge of the honey in the tear but um i feel good i feel really good right now like like a tingly sort of just throughout my body i feel really good um and that's all three drops one in each eye and one on my tongue um but yeah i'm just gonna lie down you know of course clean my face off and everything and lie down um i had like a scratchy feeling in this eye like something was in there under my eyelid um, before I even did the drops and you know the old home remedy is like just close your eye and it'll come out um but I can like feel, I feel it right now um I don't want to do too much I don't want to do too much messing around with my face um right now but I will have to say I feel really good I did um honestly I felt like I had some clarity but that might just be um my expectation because of my expectation to have something happen but if it, it seems real it seems legitimate um the reason that i am using the nest soup nectar my vision has really been declining nothing too outrageous like i haven't been diagnosed with any severe you know vis visual issue but basically since i hit 40 you know the thing that happens like everyone tells you that you're gonna start holding things away from you to see and things up close get blurry and um about two years ago so I'm now 42 but it all sort of seems to happen like coincided right as I turned 40 and I usually like all of that stuff that people tell you is gonna happen when you reach a certain age I'm like no and I <laughs> you know I'm not on that schedule you know what I mean um and I haven't really succumbed to anything except the vision this is for the most part so um that really freaked me out i didn't like it i had had a prescription for glasses for like two years now and it, like i said it's not it wasn't horrible um it was like astigmatism and um astigmatism and mild nearsightedness i got glasses no i was not wearing the glasses um faithfully but, you know, I did all of the things, you know, that time the eye doctor was like, okay, well, it's probably just eye strain from your work because I work, you know, with monitors, multiple monitors. And then if it's not, you guys know how it is. If it's not the monitors when you're working, right, it's your phone, it's your, all your devices and stuff like that. And um, I think it was just starting to take a toll. So I did all of those kind of things of like turning on dark mode, um, you know, turning on dark mode, turning off, what do you call it, um, the blue light and stuff, um, setting those hours on my phone, all that good stuff I tried. Um, I also was like an avid reader and read in poor light a lot of times during childhood. Um, so maybe that began to catch up with me, but then there's also this idea, I started reading things about presbyopia and that once you hit your 40s, basically that, you know, your vision, declines and you lose your ability to focus and of course all the ophthalmologists and the medical community was saying um there's no way to reverse that or repair the damage unless you want like surgery and artificial lenses and all this stuff and your girl is not with that um no disrespect to anyone who's done that or has it but i want to try you know as best i can to um treat things and um you know get better but going back to the glasses so i've had the glasses wasn't really wearing them and then it got to a point where like everything was just blurry so i grabbed those glasses and things kind of like straightened out um and i was wearing the glasses for maybe like two or three months and then like 
I'm putting the glasses on and stuff is blurry with the glasses and it just was, you know. Um, and then coincidentally, or there's nothing happens by chance, but I'll say coincidentally, one of KT's videos for the Nasut Nectar played and here we are. So I'm on this journey just um, trying the Nectar as well as doing some other things. Um, you know, health wise, just getting back on the path of eating healthier food, incorporating herbs in my diet, juicing, you know, all that good stuff. But I will keep you guys posted. Um, so I haven't had an eye exam recently, but I think it would be amazing, you know, to like go to another eye doctor after this experiment and have them say, ha, you don't need glasses, like just for confirmation, you know, I could like compare the two prescriptions or whatever, but, um, Man, um, is anyone interested in the nectar? I think just for the experience, I mean, I'm going to say just for the experience because, Lord, I mean, if it's just honey and that's it, <laughs> you don't need a $50 bottle of honey, right? But I did, as I was like on my journeys around the internet, as I was thinking about buying this, um, there are people who, um, even doctors who have talked about using like Manuka honey in the eyes and like there's it's proven it's documented like this is not um pseudoscience so, uh, I don't want to keep rambling my vision feels clear I feel different sensations throughout my body um I don't want to be so much influenced by like anecdotal evidence and things I'm like, is is it my bonnet? Is my bonnet too snug? <laughs> or do I really feel something like a like a like a stem <laughs> stimulation, like an e stem uh feeling? tingle or something in my brain and my cranium? Maybe I'm just crazy. But stay tuned, let's find out. Like, comment, subscribe. I can't believe this video is this long, but it took me that long to say what I have to say. Alright, y'all. Peace.